Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Girelli was crucial as Italy beat Argentina, striker Cristiana Girelli came on as a substitute, and headed the winning goal in the 87th minute, in the opening game of the Italy Women's World Cup against Argentina. The experienced Juventus attacker had replaced Giulia Dragoni in the 83rd minute, succeeding the midfielder who, aged 16 years and 259 days, became one of the youngest players in the tournament's history. Cristiana is a leader, a captain of this group. Italy coach Melina Bertolini said of the game internally, She is always there and we know what she can give. We re very happy. We know how important it is to start a tournament like this well. In front of a crowd of 30,889, Italy had previously seen goals from Ariana Caruso and Valentina Giacinti ruled out for offside. Italy also featured 18-year-old striker Chiara Bicari from the start. Next up they traveled to Wellington to play against Sweden, who also have three points in Group G on Saturday. Argentina's next game is against South Africa in Dunedin on Friday. Italy have lost touch since an impressive performance at the 2019 World Cup, that included victories over Australia, Jamaica and China, and played their part in her country's victory, with some commanding moves, with the teenager finishing the game with an 86.4% passing accuracy. The record for the youngest player ever to feature at a Women's World Cup belongs to Afini Chayajin, who was 16 years and 34 days old, when she played for Nigeria in 1999. While Dragoni was in the starting eye, striker Girelli, defender Alyssa Bartoli and midfielder Valentina Cernoia, who have won more than 200 caps together, and are still in their second World Cup appearance, had to settle for bench seats. Girelli made her presence felt after climbing off the bench to decide the game and break Argentina's hearts. La Albicelist believed they had earned a crucial point, and looked dejected when Girelli struck, and more heartache ensued when Florencia Bonsegundo was denied an equalizer by Francesca Durante.